Miss Chris Anderman joins us in studio sharing the details. Good morning. Good Chris. morning. Hi. Uh, we, you and I were just talking about the, the media that you like to use is what? Uh, porcelain. Porcelain. Could you not find something harder to work with? <laughs> right. Because well, it's so temperamental, right? Yes, but I, I love a challenge, so <laughs> I, I'm up for it. So uh, with porcelain, what, what are you making? Because this is, this is very unique, what you're doing. Um, I've been working with a porcelain manufacturer, Meisen, in Germany for the last six years. And what you'll see at the Crocker Forbidden Fruit is the first two years of that relationship and corporation making, uh, kind of going back to this 18th century idea of the porcelain figurine. Mm -hmm. And if you think of your grandmother's dusty figurines, these are not those. So <laughs> a little bit of a twist to it, uh, looking for, I'm kind of contemporizing it and bringing some playfulness to it. It's beautiful. Thank it's you. It's really beautiful. But even looking at it, there's like a, there's a weird tension when you see something in porcelain. Maybe it's just me, but when I see something in porcelain, I just feel like it's going to break. You know what I'm saying? So it yes. adds like this level of danger. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you oh, I like that. that into your, oh, yeah, sure. Your Definitely. I mean, there's some precarious nature of figures climbing on tables in the middle of all this food where if they moved, they would definitely mm. knock some delicate dish over. But, um, yeah, it's just a, it's a wonderful material to work with, and it's been great to work with the Germans and How learn their technique. This? I started in um, 1999 in my MFA in Minnesota, looking at the history of the porcelain figure, just to see if there was something in there that I could take out and refresh. So uh, writing my thesis on the, uh, the history of Meisen porcelain and the history of these figures, and then in 2010, I, the CEO of Meisen, Googled contemporary figurative sculpture and found me, lucky, lucky me. <laughs> I thought I was being punked, but no, it was, it was real. And um, since then, I've been working with the company and learning. It's a huge learning curve in the beginning, and now we've figured out what I do best, what they do best, and how we work together. And um, I think in the beginning, it took us a while to get used to each other mm -hmm. and figure out what this relationship would be. But now I feel I have a whole second family and second life in Germany. That's cool. That's really neat. Yeah. That's it's a, been, you, you basically folded the map in half yeah. right there to, yeah. you know, to, 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 get your, <laughs> yeah. to grow your family. Uh, people want to go see your, your, uh, your art. Uh, what, what's the story? Where, so where on Sunday at 10 a.m., the museum opens, and we, we will reveal Forbidden Fruit. And then at 2 o'clock, I have an artist lecture where I'll be revealing lots of the secrets and procedures and how things are made and uh, showing a lot of images of these wonderful people in Germany who've helped me along the way. And then at 3 o'clock, there's a reception following the talk. Awesome. So 10 a.m. and the 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, or if you've never been to one of those uh, artist lectures, too, you got to go. Yeah. Because you, we're only getting a few minutes with you, but you have so yeah. much more to share about what you do that's really cool. It's not too too much about production and manufacturing. It's more of about people and playful ideas yeah. and uh, really how I was inspired by these old objects from the 18th century. Love it. Love it. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very Thank much you for so coming. Much. Thanks for Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Go see it. Go see it tomorrow. That's, that's fascinating stuff. All right. It was uh, it was a hook, line, and sinker for two days for two.